Thank you for staying with us. We will continue the conversation with uh, the lawyer um, from FIDA, Biosa State Chapter, Deborah Pamoso. Thank you very much for joining us. A pleasure. Good morning. Good morning. Do you at any point fear that justice might not be served in the court hearing, in the course of the court hearing? Well, not at all, but um, there were some technicalities because um, at a point, you know, the first um, instant court, the Federal High Court, you know, they went um, almost one year, was not sitting, not until the current court, Federal High Court that uh, started de novo, um, um, started off with the matter. So I think I believe that um, we'll see to the, the, judge, the, the court would have seen to the um, end of this case. What else do you think government can do to protect more innocent children like SA against predators and molesters? Well, um, I think um, it's a um, collaboration. It should be a joint collaboration with the, all key stakeholders, government, um, the Ministry of Women Affairs, um, civil society, the police, the Nigerian police, um, NAPTIC, and, you know, etc. I think it's a collective. So I, I think that there should be more enlightenment um, to the girl child, not just the girl child, the boy child. In fact, to all, everyone, the parents, you know, and then to schools too. Um, there should be more enlightenment. It should even be part of their um, curriculum, you know, to teach them on um, safety measures um, involving the security um, agency to also enlighten them on some of these issues. All right, uh, we were unable to uh, re-establish contact with uh, Rose Oruru, that's SA's mother, um, but uh, we believe you've had contact with them. How, how has the reaction been from them and their community, um, their family, uh, to this uh, court judgment? Yes, I think um, you would, I, I, was, I would have suggested you would have used Pigeon English. Um, you know, I made that um, recommendation. But um, uh, to a great extent, um, the, the victim, the child victim, um, was very impressed. The reason being that from the onset, she wanted justice um, in collaboration with her parents. And, um, and including, in fact, the, it was a worldwide um, locus case, you know. Uh, I think that um, there were a lot of commendations. Um, but for the child, I believe that, um, you know, this kind of um, instances, she was a child when she gave birth to a child. So you can imagine that the psychology of the ch that child still matters a lot. There should be consistent um, updates on um, her welfare um, so that um, she can come out of it. Uh, it's not been that easy, you know. Um, but I believe that um, the relevant stakeholders should also see to how she can be properly brought up. Where is she now? Is she back in school? Do you know? Yes, she is. Um, but I may not be able to um, relate to the entire world where she is at, the, at this point in time. Because from the onset of the case, she was, um, you know, having some kind of, some form of threat, not just herself and the family as at then, and she was under a kind of police protection. So I think we should let that be for now. All right, thank you very much for joining us on the news. Thank you so much. You're welcome.